NASA's Hubble Space Telescope has looked for evidence of atmospheres around several Earth-sized planets in the TRAPPIST-1 system, including three that are in the star's habitable zone, where liquid water could exist on the surface. A lot of astronomers and space enthusiasts were very excited by the discovery of the seven Earth-sized planets of the TRAPPIST-1 system. The planets orbit an ultra-cool dwarf star about 40 light-years away. Scientists have theories about what these planets may be like and whether they could support life, but we won't know for sure until we get more comprehensive observations of this system, including data on the planet's atmospheres. As a planet in the TRAPPIST-1 system passes between us and the star, it blocks out a small portion of the star's light. Telescopes like Hubble can look at changes in specific wavelengths of light, which provide clues to the composition and size of the planet's atmosphere. Hubble observations in May 2016 of TRAPPIST-1b and c showed that these planets do not seem to have thick, puffy, hydrogen-rich atmospheres. This indicates a higher chance that they are rocky, terrestrial planets, rather than many gas giants. Hubble then observed planets D, E, F, and G in December 2016 and January 2017 in near-infrared wavelengths, and the results were similar. Hubble found no sign of thick, puffy, hydrogen-rich atmospheres for any of the four planets. The data suggests that there is not this gas giant-like atmosphere for planets D, E, and F, and the data from this round of observations was not as strong for planet G, so while there's no evidence for a thick, hydrogen-rich atmosphere on G, the researchers are not yet ruling it out. Planets E, F, and G orbit at distances where temperatures would allow for liquid water, while D is likely a little too hot. Hubble is yet to take observations of planet H, which is outside the system's habitable zone. To summarize, Hubble has not seen evidence of thick, hydrogen-rich atmospheres for planets B, C, D, E, and F, and of those five planets, E and F are in the habitable zone. Planet G needs more data, and Hubble has not yet looked at planet H. It's worth noting, though, that even the planets outside the habitable zone still might be able to have liquid water somewhere on its surface in certain conditions. It's also worth noting that if any of these planets have high-altitude clouds and hazes, that would block Hubble's ability to detect a thick, hydrogen-rich atmosphere. But such an atmosphere is not likely to exist on these planets. Many possibilities remain for what types of atmospheres these planets have, or whether they even have atmospheres. The TRAPPIST-1 planets could have compact atmospheres similar to Mars, Venus, Earth, or something entirely different. Researchers hope to use Hubble's ultraviolet capabilities to look for evidence of water vapor or methane, and NASA's upcoming James Webb Space Telescope will look in the far infrared to further characterize these atmospheres. Future telescopes also hope to look for hints of whether the planets are habitable and if life could be present. The TRAPPIST-1 system provides the best opportunity we currently have to study Earth-sized exoplanets. Over the next few years, Hubble and other telescopes will work together, each contributing important observations, so for the first time ever, we will have an in-depth understanding of a set of terrestrial planets outside our solar system.